The Lord is slow to anger and great in power. Nahum 1 verse 3. Jehovah is slow to anger. When mercy comes into the world, she drives winged steeds. The axles of her chariot's wheels are red hot with speed. But when wrath goes forth, it toils on with tardy footsteps. For God takes no pleasure in the sinner's death. God's rod of mercy is ever in his hands outstretched. His sword of justice is in its scabbard, held down by that pierced hand of love which bled for the sins of men. The Lord is slow to anger because he is great in power. He is truly great in power who has power over himself. When God's power restrains himself, then it is power indeed. The power that binds omnipotence is omnipotence surpassed. A man who has a strong mind can bear to be insulted long and only resents the wrong when a sense of right demands his action. The weak mind is irritated with little. The strong mind bears it like a rock which does not move, though a thousand breakers dash upon it and cast their pitiful malice and spray upon its summit. God marks his enemies, and yet he does not stir himself, but holds in his anger. If he were less divine than he is, he would have long before this sent forth the whole of his thunders and emptied the magazines of heaven. He would have long before this blasted the earth with the wondrous fires of its lower regions, and man would have been utterly destroyed. But the greatness of his power brings us mercy. What is your state this evening? Can you by humble faith look to Jesus and say, My substitute, you are my rock, my trust. Then, beloved, be not afraid of God's power. For by faith you have fled to Christ for refuge. The power of God need no more terrify you than the shield and the sword of the warrior need terrify those whom he loves. Rather rejoice that he who is great in power is your father and friend. The Lord is slow to anger and great in power. Nahum 1 verse 3.